I think it's Dodgy Hotel. You know in Titanic, when all of the servants would like below deck the people who worked on the boat and like all the poor people. That's where I am in this hotel. <laughs> There's no windows. Obviously I've heard for no windows. London hotels are crazy. It was like £80 cheaper just not to get a window and I was like, I do enjoy the year, but I also do enjoy saving 80 British pounds. So, offered for the no window room. I'm in London for a few days. It's literally 10 o'clock and I've freaking got a hotel because I was supposed to spend the day here. I was supposed to have like two lovely long days in London. I was really excited and I pre the hotels and I paid for it and I got non-refundable because I was like, I'm definitely gonna go, like can't wait, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I've been going to like this like doctor thing, you know, the hospital vibes, like thing, just checking the things and stuff. I freaking got a letter through through and it was like appointment on the day I was supposed to come to London and like I couldn't not get it like I, ha like, I have to go I couldn't change the appointment basically and the appointment wasn't until like four o'clock so I didn't get to London until like half nine so kind of just got a hotel just literally to sleep which is so sad what a day do a room tour you walk in bed green tv we've got this thing with which clicks in which i think is actually quite cute big fat mirror which i like hanging things a bin hair dryer and then just a little bathroom which you know what right it's clean it does the job i'm then staying at another hotel tomorrow night i'm gonna unpack anything because i'm literally gonna have to wake up in the morning and go to the new hotel <laughs> Oh my god, because it was cheaper to do two different hotels than do the same hotel for two nights. Just me out here trying to save money, do you know what I mean? But I'm starving, I've not ate, so I'm gonna order some food. The train was like four hours long, and there was a guy in front of me who was like really cute and old. And he was snoring like this. And then the girl next to me was really cuddling up. And I was just like, this is the worst train journey ever. Get me into my five star accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> I've ordered KFC. I don't even know if I fancy KFC, but I got a kid's meal. So I got a kid's fillet meal, mash and gravy. And I get a pineapple stick, which I just think is the cutest thing in the whole entire world. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I'm hoping soon. I'm kind of scared of this whole time. I just think it's because I can hear loads of noises and I get a bit freaked out with the noises. So the faster the food comes, I can like chill in bed, watch TV. Oh shit, it's here. Frick. That was so strange. The guy was like, oh, I'm here. But I've never seen any no... Oh, I've got no cutlery. Oh, no. I hope there's the most cutlery. Oh. A little pineapple lolly. Oh, my God, it's an actual lolly. I thought it was just like a pineapple in the shape of a lolly. Hmm. That's not as exciting. Oh, two for one on sea life. <gasps> this voucher gives one adult a child free entry at Old Towers, Thought Park. Shrek's Adventure. What the heck? For God's sake. I got a fork. I'm going to eat this and I'm starting Happy Valley. So I'll report back. Good morning. So I had my alarm set for half ten. I was hoping to have a lie in. But someone started drilling. Drilling at 8am. <laughs> and now someone's hoovering at nine. But they've been doing it for about 20 minutes. So I'm guessing like the hoover and the drill pieces that they drilled all over. It's nice and comfy. I had a really nice, like a good comfy sleep in the bed. And I worked out how to use the heat which was nice. I think I'm just going to get ready. You just get out now. It's nine o'clock now. I don't have to check out until 11 but I'm just going to check out now I think. I get ready and then go go to the other hotel, drop off my stuff, and then go have a fun day in London. I just feel high key exhausted, I can't lie. Outfit of the day, I've got on this pink top. I wasn't actually wanting to wear this for real life. It was more for my headshots that I'm getting on Friday, but I realized I don't have any long sleeve tops with me. And it's friggin' frozen outside. So I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? And I've got no coat, like this is the only coat I've got. So I've had to wear this, even though I don't really like it. It's like a normal top. That's puzzle too. It is 10 o'clock, I'm gonna leave. Get a on the juice. Let's go. Since all I do in London is eat, we've got a humble crumble. Do you want to say hi, Liza? Hi. No one's seen you in since college. Eee. Oh my god, it's so chat. Liza's leaving us soon, but we got a we got a little crumble thing. Looks nice. I'll rate it out of ten. Let you know.
I have been the worst little YouTuber today in the whole entire world. So I'm in the new hotel and it's so much nicer. I'm also whitening my teeth, hence the state of this situation. I'll, I'll talk to you then, then I'll show the room. So today, just to speak, talk you through the day. So I woke up in the hotel. I never sleep, right? Okay, like you know I'm asked to go with my sleeping. In the fact that the drilling was going at like the crack of dawn and then the hoover and I was just like, what hotel is this? Why are you waking me up? You know what I mean? I got my suitcase and moved to my second hotel, which is this one. It's in Canary Wharf. It's the Ibis Hotel. And this one was cheaper than the other one, but it's so much nicer. I've got a list for all of these. <laughs> I'll show you it. It's a bit messy at the moment because I've got my stuff everywhere, but really cute. I then went to join the juice just on my lonesome, got a little coffee, and it was really wholesome, really nice. I'm obsessed with join the juice, so that was nice to do. And now, I'm, uh, oh, and then I met my friend Liza and Ellie and we went for food. We went to this place called Egg Slut. Don't recommend it. Liza liked it, but I thought it was like the worst thing I've ever had in my mouth. Don't, I hated it. I put it in a bin. And then we went to this place called Humble Crumble. Oh my God. It's like crumble place. And you can choose what fruit you want, how much crumble you want, what kind of custard you want. You can get like vanilla custard. You can get different toppings. So we've got like a, a blowtorch marshmallow. So tasty. Came back to the hotel. I've just been chilling. Got re ready because I'm going out with my friend Chris. And then my friend Grace is staying with me tonight, which is a nice little last minute change. I'll show you my outfit. I haven't got anything warm with me. So I've kind of just got this on. I'm going to wear it with a big leather jacket and like a scarf. I feel like it looks disgusting, but honestly, I've got nothing else. I've literally only brought stuff for my headshot. So this is the room. Look at all that room for activities. Obviously I've got my stuff all over the bed. But look, it's got this cute little light. There's a kettle in the last one, didn't have a kettle. So I've already had a cup of tea, gotta have another one actually. Compartment, spare, spare pillow. Nice big TV. Then the bathroom, which I've just been in, but I'll show you it properly. And that's it like there. And I got it for, I think this was only £80 for the night, which was crazy for London. And for it being Canary Wharf too, I thought like, that's actually really good. Grace is leaving Sunderland now, so it takes like four hours to get here. I'm meeting Chris in like an hour, we're just going for food, maybe a few drinks. And then Grace gets here at like half nine, so I'm going to go get her. And then we're going to come back and have a nice early night. I've also got a rape alarm. Oh my god, I'm sure she is. My dad got me a rape alarm and I'm so excited. Well, I'm not excited, obviously. Well, I'm, I'm excited to feel more safe, <laughs> but I'm not excited to have to have a rape alarm. It's like this, and I don't want to pull this out, but you pull this out and it goes. So I'm going to put this in my bag, and I'm going to have a cup of tea, and I'll report back when I'm about to leave. Also, look at these earrings. They were £3 from H&M. Three British pounds. I think that's so good. It's been half an hour, so I'm going to take off these little strips. Do the top. I love white tea. <laughs> lovely now i can finally have another cup of tea so i had to wait for those bloody strips to be off me before i had another one so change of bloody plan so my friend didn't finish work till late so it's kind of like by the time he got ready and came out i would have to leave anyways early because i got my headshots tomorrow so it's like by the time he came out and would get ready then got all the way back into central london he was like, oh, probably only going to have like just over an hour. And it's a long way to like travel and stuff and stress for him. So we're just not doing it. So now I'm just chilling. A little bit annoying, but it can't be helped. So now I'm just chilling again. <laughs> I've literally been just chilling in this room since four. And it's like if I was in central London, I would just get up and go out on my own and just like have a little look around or go to Eminem World or something. But because I'm in Canary Wharf and I'm kind of like not in the the busy part of canary wharf i'm in like the like next to the dockyards docklands or whatever it's called i can't really go anywhere i'm actually really glad that i don't live in london which is quite a weird thing to like finally admit because i was obsessed with the idea of living in london like i only moved to manchester because i thought it was like a stepping stone to london like i was thinking i'll live in manchester for a year then i'll move to london just because obviously it's more expensive in london blah, blah 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 i love london with my whole heart like i think it's such a lovely place and it's fun but every time i'm here i just feel so overwhelmed and like tired and i'm just so glad now that i didn't make the move because i just think i wouldn't see anyone either because it's so far to see everyone that's what i think what i hate like today when i saw liza like she had to travel like nearly an hour to come see me and chris would have to travel like 40 minutes and everyone just lives so far away whereas like in manchester freya is a three minute tram to me megan is three floors 
down from me. Leah lives in the other room. <laughs> like, Byron's around the corner, Anna's around the corner. Like, Will's probably the furthest away and still he's probably 10 minutes away from me. In hindsight, I would have booked a musical to go see tonight. And I would have just went on my own because I love going to see musicals and that would be something fun to do tonight. But obviously I wasn't to know. But I think I'm just going to chill, iron my stuff maybe, wash my hair, get ready, get sorted and then... What movie should I watch guys? That's the next question. God. <laughs> I've emotionally accepted the fact that I have to just take off my makeup. I can't keep it on forever, you know? I'm going to take this off. Do some skincare because my skin is looking crusty AF. I'm going to call it a big fat day. Hi friends, it is the next day. I did not film anything last night. Grace came, we ended up getting some spaghetti and just having a chill night and then I went to sleep and I just chilled out and didn't film. I'm going on my headshots now. I've done my makeup. I'm basically supposed to look like I haven't really got a lot on. So I've got no mascara on, I just got a lash lift the other day. I've got a lip stain on, a little bit of bronzer, some concealer. Um, I'm hoping like it's fine. I've brought wipes and stuff so I can obviously lessen some bits. So you're supposed to look like you've got no makeup on, but obviously like get rid of your blemishes and stuff. So like this is what I would look like if I had no makeup on. If I was like naturally prettier, you know what I mean? Like you know like in a film when they wake up from bed and it's like, well they look flawless, it's because obviously they've had a makeup out of something. That's what I'm going for. I'm hoping it's fine. The moment of truth is my hair. This is what's freaking me out because if this hasn't curled, then I'm screwed because I didn't bring a curler. Woohoo, of course it has. I bloody love this this thing. It's so great. I've got some shine spray as well. I'm not gonna put it on now. I'm just gonna wait till I get there to do the shine spray. And then at least I can kind of make it look a bit nice when I'm there. But for now, it's probably more just about keeping it in, like staying in my hair. Yeah. That doesn't look too shabby. I don't look the worst I've ever looked in my life, which was what I was aiming for. I do need to leave soon. I've got ready so early. Like, I was so over-prepared. I thought it was going to take me longer to get ready than it did. So I've been sat ready for like an hour and a half just, just watching Friends. I've got stains all over my pants, so they're a bit damp. But you can't tell the damp on a photo, so I'm just going to wear them. It's not the end of the world. Do you know what I mean? But I am going to take this hair stuff in my little bag just so I can like easily grab it. I might try and film a little bit of the photo shoot or just show you some behind the scenes but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because I'm only there for an hour and a half and got to get the snappy pics. Um, yeah. 